Hey everybody, I'm Michiel from Wii Free Studio and I would like to show you some gameplay footage of our game Power Grid. It's a turn-based strategy game. We've got several game modes. There is a single player campaign, there's a few multiplayer modes and there's a skirmish mode where you fight random battles against a computer opponent. And that's what I would like to show you today. Let's go with the second skirmish map because I think we've already got a video up on the first one. I'll also show you our perk system. Um, the player who gets to go first has a small advantage and we wanted to offset that by giving the second player a bonus. In multiplayer the game randomly picks one of the players to choose the perk and then the other player gets to choose whether they would rather go first or take the perk. In a skirmish map I can set up the game however I like. And in this case I'll give the second player a substation to start with. I will go first and I'll up the difficulty one notch to make it a bit more interesting. Let's start the game. I'm on the left in blue, my opponent is on the right in red. Uh, I've got two power plants and the opponent has three and also their substation from the perk. Your power plants give you power each turn which you get to spend on either buildings or charging your weapons. And I'm going to start by building a couple of power lines. So does the AI, the computer player. And I'm going to put down a substation. Substations do two things. They store power between turns. If you don't spend all your power and you can't store it, it's lost. And also they act as power sources in the same way that your uh, power plants do, which means that they power the section of your grid that they're in and they reset the power costs. The further away you get from a power source, the more expensive it gets to build. So it's important to build a few forward outposts as you advance or it'll be way too expensive to attack and build later. I'm also going to build some defenses, cap off this area of the board. Well, that's it for this turn. And the computer also chooses to defend a bit and then is coming my way. Let's cap this off as well. And I'm just going to circle around. And as you can see, I can no longer build here, even though I've still got 11 power because by now my power lines cost 16 each. Oh, I forgot that part there. All right, well, better cap this off quickly. And probably put down some defenses. And with that tower, I'll be able to attack his power lines. But I'll wait with that until next turn, and I'll show you why. He's just put down a cannon, which can hit my power plant. Well, that's fine because I'll be able to destroy it quite quickly. And I'm going to charge my tower two times, which means it'll fire once after my turn and once again after my opponent's turn, which means these power lines with two hit points will be destroyed just in time for me to build stuff over them. It won't be enough to take out his cannon because that got that's got three hit points, but I'll be able to uh, cap it off so he can't charge it because it's no longer connected to the rest of his grid. And I think I'll just put down a substation over here as a point where the advance from in the next turn. And he's putting down a new power plant quite a bit. He's overcharged one of his power plants, which means its output is boosted, but it will slowly burn down over time. And there's no way to turn it off once you've turned it on. Now, as you can see, I've cleared out all, the, all his power lines around here. And that means his cannon is no longer powered, and I can just cap it off here. Now, next turn, he'll be able to break through here, which would be bad for me. So I'm going to put down a tower on top of my power line to plug that gap. And another power line over here should cover that. And I really want to start advancing on his power plants. But this is as close as I'll be able to get this turn. Now 
I'm just going to try and hold him off here. Let's see. Well, that one's going to explode after his turn. There's nothing I need to do about that. Um, so it's important for me to start advancing on his power plants over here. And I can put down a substation over here, claim the next tile with a power line, and then next turn I can put down a tower there. You can stop now. Okay. And I would like to go on the offense, but first I gotta plug this here because I don't want him on my doorstep. And it's especially important to close this gap as well, so he can't flank me. This tower is going to destroy this power line, so I better cap that off as well. And I'll save my 25 power for next turn. As you can see, I've got part of my grid that's now unpowered because it's no longer connected, but this bit here is because it's got a power source, namely this substation. And I'm thinking whether I can afford to go on the attack or whether I should first close this off. Because he's going to take this out in the next turn. So I don't have much choice except to do that, but I can still put down the tower for next turn. And once I'm over there shooting his stuff, I can hopefully force him on the defense, which means he'll stop shooting my stuff. Like he's doing now. This one will hold for one more turn, so that's good. But this one will not. Better cap this off and this one, and that leaves me enough power for two shots from that tower. And he's now got a shot at my power plant. Okay, let's see. There's no way for me to destroy that cannon this turn, which means he'll be able to destroy my power plant on his next turn. So I might as well overcharge it, squeeze some extra power out of it, even though it'll blow up at the end of the turn. I'd better put down a new power plant over here, because else it's four against one. And those are not odds I like. I'm gonna cap this off, put down some defenses over here, and now I really wanna take some territory here. Oh, and this would be a great spot for hitting his stuff. In fact, I'm going to overcharge my other power plant just so I can claim that one. There goes my one power plant. And he's now defending against my attack, but he's still got plenty of power left to stay on the offense as well. However, I am now at least in a position where I can start shooting his, his stuff. So, one charge over here. As you may have noticed, the second charge is actually twice as expensive as the first. So I'm now thinking whether it's worth putting in another one here. No, because he's gonna destroy that one, cutting off my tower. So I'd much rather keep that, put this one here, and I can put another charge in that one, which will finish off this power plant this turn. And it'll be three against, well, one in a bit, because this one is still coming up to steam. Now this one's going down, so I want to get at least one more shot out of it. And I think it would be a good idea
to put two more charges in here so I can start shooting some more stuff of his. I really think I should take this out to clear out some space. He will rebuild, but that's okay. And that leaves me enough power to put down another power plant of my own. And just one bit of defense over here. Now I really want to get in two shots over here, but I can't because I don't have the power. But I am in a bit of a spot because he's got way more power than me to spend. This thing is under fire. So I think I'm going to try a bit of a risky move. down a tower to force him to defend and I don't have enough for a power plant so I'm going to be in real trouble but I should be able to take out two of his with that tower he knows he's gonna lose those two so he's gonna overcharge them rather than lose them and I don't mind him shooting my stuff over there that's fine Next turn is gonna hurt though because I think he'll have plenty of power to charge the two of those taking me out. And I think there's not much for me to do. Oh, I'm not even gonna make it if I overcharge, am I? It's currently making 30. Oh, so overcharging gives me another 30. That puts me at 50. Hmm. I think he's got me actually. Well, there you have it. This is Power Grid. I was hoping to show you more of a victory, but this will do as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon and bye bye.